the bucket list. This is where we look at things that you might like to do in the future. And today we're looking at the activities section of your buckets list. We know physical activity is fantastic for our well-being, especially as we age. Now how about putting physical activity with other people? And that's where the benefits are even more enhanced, especially for our mental health, for depression, anxiety, and overcoming the effects of self of isolation. Today, we're gonna to look at a team sport. Now you might've been playing a team sport in the past. You love team sports, but you think it's just too much for you now. It's a bit too dangerous. So today we're gonna to look at life ball. Now life ball, you may or may not have heard of it, is a combination of netball and basketball. It was designed by Colleen Wilson Lord, OAM. It's a very safe game. So there's no bounce passes, no overhead passes, no running, no walking backwards. Even the goal has been amended or adjusted so that it's eye level and it's a few meters beyond the end line. So it's a very, very safe game. There is six players in each team and you play a position and then you change positions. So by the end of the game, everyone has played in every position. So it's lots of fun. It's now being done by over 2,000 people around Australia. If you want to look at doing a team sport, try out Life Ball. Contact us through Facebook or YouTube or the website. They say that Life Ball is the game you play for life. So give it a go. legends. This is where we meet people who inspire us, people that seem to be living an inspired life. And today's everyday legend is Colin Wilson Lord, OAM. Colin has been working tirelessly for decades to improve the health and well-being of our senior community in metropolitan and regional areas. She spent over 40 years in the fitness and wellness industry and has been involved in launching many national programs, including Walking for Pleasure, Gentle Exercise, Act 
aqua fitness, healthy lifestyle vacations, Nordic pole walking. So we'll hear about pole walking at some episode in the future. And life ball, the team sport that she developed that combines netball and basketball and is now being done in over 70 locations around Australia. Well past retirement age, Colleen still holds positions as Director of Healthy Lifestyle Health Promotion Services and Community Education and Development Community Fitness Australia. Her programs are being conducted throughout 50 organisations across Australia. In 91, she was awarded the Order of Australia Medal and in 2005, she was nominated for Australian of the Year. She holds many other accolades, including the Advanced Australia Award, the Australian Fitness Industries Lifetime Achievement Award, the New South Wales Premier's Seniors Week Achievement Award, and a fellowship with the Australian Council for Health, Physical Education and Recreation. I asked Colleen three questions, and these are the answers in her own words. The number one thing which keeps me motivated is not to be a burden to my family, to keep healthy and active. I've had numerous accidents over the years and have been through heaps of rehabilitation and have pushed through knowing that I can do it. Even when I was on chemotherapy two years ago, I was determined that I would somehow crawl out of bed and do my exercises. I knew this would give me the headspace to stay positive. One last thing that motivates me is I don't think old. I have a lot of younger colleagues who keep me on my toes and I try hard to think young, as really inside of all of us is the younger version. Eight years ago, I wrote down my goal to learn tap dancing. I've got the shoes and now a bit more time, so I've decided to have a go at home and see what happens. I do have osteoporosis, so I need to be a bit wary of falling, but I am going to give it a go. I'm learning to play the bass guitar and really would like to pursue this further, as my husband Brian is a muso and it's something we can enjoy together. Last thing on my bucket list is getting a camper van and doing some more traveling around Australia. My priority is to spend more time with the ones I love. I really don't think we have it together until we're over 50. For me, turning 50 was the new beginning as I sorted out a lot of things in my life and started to make the most of the years I had ahead of me. One thing I decided was to not look back on the past mistakes or hurdles like a broken marriage, etc. Instead, to see these hurdles as learning bridges, which have given me the strength and insight into making better decisions in the future. I also decided to make the most of my life and stop sweating the small stuff, as most of the things we worry about are small stuff. We need to make sure we keep time and energy for ourselves, our health and wellness. Don't leave it too late to do some of the things that you've been wanting to do for years, as quite often health issues get in the way and then it's too late. Colleen Wilson-Lord, Everyday Legend. Thanks for watching Over 50 So What? fun, fitness, wellness, and inspiration. Middlelessence is like adolescence, only 30 years later. A time for exploring and trying new things. We hope today's show has inspired you to try some new things and maybe, just maybe, do a little more exercise. If you would like some more fitness routines, be sure to jump on YouTube, check them out. We'd love to hear your stories, hear your comments, hear your suggestions. And if you know anyone who's inspiring in the community, just drop us a note through Facebook, YouTube, or the website.
This show is for you. Remember, the small things make the big difference. Five minutes a day and you're on your way. Keep strong, be active, stay safe. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll send you the latest TV episodes and videos. Like our Facebook page and please send us your comments, your stories and any inspiring people that you know. Over 50, so what?